This is how to build the lead magnet funnel inside funnels.so or go high level, right? So in this case, I'm going to be selling or actually, you know, having a lead magnet for a mini course for funnel builders, right? So this is a free course and people can get access to this page. They just click here, they go through the form and then they receive everything, the access through email. So how do we actually do that? Well, the first step is building everything. And to build this, what I did was uh, I added these simple elements, right? These are embed functions. I created this image. And what I did was I used the software box in media modifier. Then I've added the designs where you can see the designs right there. And then after that, uh, what I did was I put everything in place. Okay, I've added the, the, the image there and put everything in place. Now, when we go to the, to the, um, to the funnel itself, we want to create a two-step funnel. The first step is going to be an opt-in. The second step is just going to be a thank you page. In this case, the thank you page, I didn't go, you know, too fancy on it. Uh, I just simply created this and voila. Okay. Now, how to actually make this happen now. Okay. So we're going to go ahead inside the page and this is not the page that I want. So it's going to go back and we are going to go inside the page where we have the lead magnet page. Okay. So once this uh, loads, let me just give you a second. So we go inside the, um, the page, right? And then here, I'm gonna go ahead to pop-up settings. Inside this pop-up settings, I already have this form, but in your case, all you need to do is add a row and then add a form right there. And then after you have this, you just select the form that you need. In my case, it's gonna be mini course form. Okay. It's important to have this done. And if you have not the form, if you don't have the form built yet, here's exactly how you can build that form. So what you want to do is you want to go to funnels or websites. If you have go high level forms, form builder. And now here I actually created the mini form course. So I added a form, start from scratch. And then what I did was I just added the elements here from the left menu, the full name, the email and the button done. That's it. Very simple. You don't need to change anything else. Okay. So going back to the funnel build, you add the form here and then what you do is you test if the form is uh, running perfectly. And if you just do these steps, it is not going to do anything. It's just going to say, hey, thank you for for that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go inside and change those settings. So what we need to do is pop up settings. Then right here uh, on the bottom part in advanced on the bottom part. Uh, let me see what it is. Sorry. There you go. So when we go here on the border part, you just use the, um, the go to next step uh, option. If you go to the standard one, it's just going to go ahead and say a thank you, uh, a standard thank you. So you go here, you click there and you save. Okay. So just saving. Now we go back. And once we are here, we just need to test. So we click there, we go here and we are going to go ahead and do the test. Add the, um, add the things there, right? And then click on the button and now it should redirect to the thank you page as it did, right? So everything is working. Now all we need to do is we need to attach the, um, the form with an automation that is going to send the details via email, okay? So for that, we're gonna go ahead and click in automation. I already built a pre, um, a pre um, automation. So I, I did the mini course automation. All we do is create a workflow and then from scratch, uh, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna go back and I want to use this mini course automation. So all, all you have to do is add a new workflow, then form submitted. Okay. And then the form, you need to select the form that you have that is submitted. So it's the mini course form. So once that's done, you save the trigger and it's going to look like this. Uh, and then from there you do a wait one second, you add a tag and the tag is going to be mini course. And then from there you can create an opportunity. You can send emails and other stuff for the emails. What I did was a thank you email. Then I did, uh, one day, two day, and a three day email. So how did I do this? Was using ChatGPT for this case. Uh, I created a copy using this prompt, very simple one. He created a copy there. Then I did, okay, cool. Now create a, a thank you email. He did exact that. Then what I did was create a three flow um, follow-up emails to check on the user to see if they have been watching the videos, right? So email one, dive into your Go High Level Mini course yet. Uh, then email two, your personal invite, and then three, unleashing the power uh, full potentials. Have you seen this yet? Um, so you can change, uh, you know, according to what your copywriting skills allow you to do, right? So uh, for this case, for this purpose, I just did this sequence and added everything in the, um, uh, in, in here, right? So that's pretty much about it. Once you have everything done, you just publish and save. 
uh, and then voila, that is going to work. Okay. If you are looking for a way for people to join a specific course, then inside the email, you are going to do, uh, you're going to have to do, to, to give access to those, um, to those, um, to those attributions. All right. But I have a specific video for that in my YouTube channel as well. So go ahead and watch the, that video for the mini course. That's pretty much it for the lead magnet. That's pretty much about it. Very, very simple. You create your first page with the design that you want. You click here, it app opens a pop-up. This pop-up has a form that you created. The form needs to uh, be on opt-in. It needs to redirect to the next step. The next step is a thank you page. Then what it's gonna do is it's going to trigger an automation when the form is submitted. We're gonna wait one minute, one minute exactly. We're gonna add a tag. And then from there, we are going to start an automation there. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, drop on the comment section below.